Hey everybody, this is Joe over at Synergy 17 and um, someone had asked a question about applying an object to a path. Um, people have seen applying text to a path, but they want to apply an object. I'm not really sure exactly what they're trying to achieve, but they had mentioned um, taking some tribal art and applying it to a path. So I'm going to show you um, how to use the blend tool to do that. So here's a couple pieces of tribal art that I found. It doesn't really matter which one we use, but what we want to do is we need to first draw a path. And um, it doesn't really matter if we take a, like a heart shape or a polygon or anything else. Uh, we can really apply this to anything. So let's go ahead and, and choose something like the heart. Let's pick a heart. And uh, what we can do is um, this heart's about 10 inches tall. This is about uh, 1.8. Let's make it 0.1 or sorry, 1.25. Same thing with this one. I'm not sure which one we're going to use yet, but so under tools, um, I'm sorry, under Windows, Dockers, there's a, uh, a pop-out called Blend, and it's got the uh, tools for her, or the, sorry, the controls for her. And what we want to do is we're going to choose uh, whichever um, design we want, the object we want. I'm going to hit Control D and make a copy of that. So what happens is if I select them both, I can choose how many steps. So I can say I want 10 pieces in between that and then hit apply and it puts 10 pieces there. Um, I could have, you know, I can keep on moving this around and it'll basically keep the same spacing. So we can sit there and move this around and it'll follow it. So the next thing we want to do is he wanted to take I'm not sure how many, but put this around a path. So what you can do is you can take this um, this blend here, and I can say uh, path, new path, and then choose the path I want. And then I can say apply, and it does it only since I only did ten of them, it stops. You can say blend along full path, and that'll make it go all the way around it equally. So if I wanted fifteen. We'll get more on there and so forth and um, whenever you move the heart it'll stick around with it so what you need to do is you need to uh, right click and say oops, let me select this and say uh, break blend apart and if you do that it allows you to take the uh, vector away from it and have your um, rest of your your tribal pieces or whatever your object is so um, it's a pretty easy tool to use but it's it's pretty uh, useful to do that. And that's how people do rhinestones. They take little circles. So imagine that. This is how this is, would be like the manual way of doing rhinestones. I'm not even sure what size that is. Let's make this uh, 0.127, which is an SS10 stone. Let me take this, make it smaller. I don't need this one anymore. So what people could do, I'll go ahead and delete that. is what they would do is make a copy of that, select these, say they wanted 50 in between, apply it, then apply it to this path, and um, blend up. And then here's where you can change your number. 60, apply. You know, 70, apply. And that's kind of like the manual way of doing rhinestones. Right click, break it apart, throw that away and those would be your template so I mean that's one way you can do if you don't have any macros or anything that's a quick and easy way of doing an outline of course if you want to do a fill you'd have to do a contour 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 and then do this over and over but um, just for a real quick cheap way of making rhinestones if you have Corel that's how you do it so anyways I hope you guys found this useful